so we seen deep research charts and use of it to find really using k values and we also uh, discussed about flash calculations in previous video flash calculations as we discussed is you know performed to eliminate any uh, more volatile components from the mixture before it enters into the distillation column so that we can uh, reduce the load on distillation column uh, method equation associated with that mathematical equations are this as we discussed last time that given temperature pressure feed and z uh, we can find out v by solving this equation now to solve this equation you can use the prester chart or if you have you know uh, expressions for pi set or gamma you can substitute them here given temperature pressure get ki and solve this equation However, use of deep research chart is highly uh, you know useful because it reduces the calculations here. And we are going to see one of the examples wherein how to use deep research chart to solve this. Often in industry, uh, we come across situations wherein we you know specify V, that is V know temperature, pressure, feed, Z, and we specify V. Uh, sorry, V know temperature, uh, feed, Z. And V and we find out P, or we have P, F, Z, and you know V, and we find out the temperature. That means from the feed, we have either got T or P, and out of V or L, we know one of them. So that we use that and this equation to find out the temperature or pressure. If I give you an example related to that, uh, you know, uh, if we have a partial condenser at top of distillation column. It works at a similar way to the flash column. The purpose of partial condenser is different from what flash column is, but the mathematics behind partial condenser is same. There also, you got a stream going in. It has got you know some feed, some temperature, some pressure, and some you know overall composition. And it also needs to be splitted into two equilibrium stream, one containing vapor, other containing liquid. There, our purpose is to condense the vapor. Here, a uh, classical flash, the requirement is to uh, you know vaporize the more volatile. But the mathematics remains exactly same. So, you know, partial condenser on top of distillation column also can be represented by this mathematics. So, you know, uh, where you know what we want is how much amount of vapor which are going in are condensed. Say, for example, I say that I got you know 100 moles of vapor going in. I want 70 mole as condensed. That is, my L is 70 and V is 30. So I can take that you know same problem by stating that V is 0.3, even though I am condensing. So mathematically, that also is same. So uh, you know uh, uh, these equations can be used in combination with deep pressure chart to solve for either you know given T, P, F, Z, you can find V or L. The other possibility is given either p or t f z and v you find the remaining p or t or l so that, that both the kind of problems can be solved with the help of de pressure chart and this equation however one condition remains you know to be you know known and that is the pressure which is here after the reduction wall should be always between bubble point pressure and dew point pressure corresponding to overall composition. How do we find bubble point pressure? By putting the z equals to x, temperature is known, you find bubble p and by putting z equal to y and you find pressure that becomes your dew p. So the given pressure this has to be in between these two. Otherwise, either the system is completely liquid or completely vapor and it doesn't make any you know uh, sense to perform further flash calculation because corresponding to that v would be either greater than 1 or like 1 or 0. Let us take up an example wherein we have a mixture of 15 mole percent ethane, 35 mole percent propane and rest is butane. So it is a tertiary system where you have you know 15 mole percent ethane, 35 mole percent propane and remaining 50 percent to be n butane. The temperature is given 40 Fahrenheit and it is said that if the fraction of the liquid in the system at this condition is 0.4, what is the corresponding pressure? That means what have been provided here is temperature pressure Z, sorry temperature z and feed composition and we are told that l is 0.4 that is 40 percent other way around v is 0.6 so that is given to us and what we are supposed to find out is we are supposed to find out the pressure 
in the given statement it is said that we have to use deep register chart so we'll use deep register chart uh, since there is no mention of feed flow rate we'll consider it to be one uh, you know uh, unit of feed flow rate given l is 0.4 we say that v is 6 that is 60 percent is vapor z1 z2 z3 are known to us and you know we know the equation the equation is z i into k i minus 1 over 1 plus v by f k i minus 1 and the summation of this should be 0. Since we know the temperature which is 40, you know what we can do is this equation can be you know first written with all the given numerical values which is this. So, if I convert this into numerical values I know z 1 0.15 k 1 minus 1 1 plus v which is 0.6 k 1 minus 1 plus this is for the second component, this is for the third component and equals to 0. If there would have been four component, we would have fourth term coming here which is z4 into k4 minus 1 over 1 plus v k4 minus 1. Likewise, any number of component you can use this equation. Now, our job is temperature is known to us 40 Fahrenheit. What we need to do is use the picture chart and find pressure for which this equation becomes 0. So, what we will do is we have got the picture chart temperature is 40 Fahrenheit and we draw a line and make pressure and find out k1, k2, k3. Substitute those k1, k2, k3 here and if it is equal to 0, you got your answer. If not, make another iteration. In contrast to VLE calculation, here we will not be in a position to you know uh, uh, make our move in which direction we need to go. Reason being, k1 and k2 and k3 are both in numerator and denominator. So, you cannot make up that the direction is going to be this. So, this becomes in real sense a trial and error method. So, what we do is we draw a line from 40, say for example 70 psi here, we find k1, k2, k3, you know, right? Substitute them in the equation this. If it is not 0, draw another line, right? Check whether that summation is 0 or not, draw another line. Likewise, you have to keep on drawing different lines. The, the the value at which the value of pressure at which this becomes 0 is your answer. So, this is how you can solve a problem which is which are similar to this. The other possibility uh, or other change possible in this kind of you know equation is that you have been given this 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 temperature and pressure and you are supposed to find out V that is this. So, in that case the change would be that you, you know temperature and pressure. So, what happens is since you know temperature and pressure both, you have to just draw one line and these lines will give you, this line will give you k1, k2, k3. Substitute that k1, k2, k3 here directly. So, now what you have is the entire expression is only having unknown as v. So, the numerator here is known, this is known, this is known, only unknown would be v. Solve for v. How do you solve for e? Use newton Abson method or use some computational tool like you know Golsik in Excel or some other method. So, that will give you the value of V. When you want to you know when you when you when you are having a data in front of you what you have to understand is what is given to you as F, L or V and Z1, Z2, Z3. Once you understand that you can put it you know uh, with along with this equation you can use deep history chart and solve for the uh, you know either fraction vaporized or uh, you know temperature or pressure. So, this is how we use deep pressure chart in order to calculate flash operation.